Is your creativity crucial to the mind of becoming a master hypnotist? Is the creative mind of the master hypnotist his or her best weapon? Well, you can bet it is. And here today, we're going to show you how to develop the mindset of the hypnotic winner for yourself. Gone are the days where you thought you had to do a session all on your own. Hello and welcome back. It's Scott Jansen from the Conversational Hypnosis Academy. And today we're going to look at the creative mind of the master hypnotist. So what does the master hypnotist do differently than most? How is it they seem to know just how and what to do without making mistakes along the way? Well, believe it or not, it all boils down to creativity and mastering the unconscious mind. So what the master hypnotist is doing differently is that they're relying on their own unconscious mind to point them in the right direction during any session. And even if mistakes are made along the way, they trust their unconscious mind will help them recover without being spotted, of course. Now, while there are a few different ways to develop the mindset of the master hypnotist, here is one of the easiest concepts to play with. What the creative mind of the master hypnotist is doing at any point in the interaction is just taking one step at a time, meaning that they place themselves in a position of the moment of the interaction and not two or three steps ahead. The biggest mistake we as hypnotists can make is to think too far ahead in the interaction to begin to plan what we might say or do next, even before the situation has arrived. I mean, who here hasn't stressed themselves out beyond belief about how the session will go, what they may do or say before your client has even shown up. And believe it or not, the equation is simple. Now, using the frame of conversational hypnosis, a good conversational hypnotist relies on conversation to create a hypnotic circumstance, meaning that a great master hypnotist of conversational hypnosis will begin the conversation with a question about anything relating to the issue. It's why your client's there in the first place. They ask a question, wait for an answer, then ask another question in response to the answer and not the issue anymore. Now, what does this mean? Well, it means that as new information about the issue or challenge is being revealed through the hypnotic interview, another question is asked to clarify that answer. Now, after doing this many times, the master hypnotist soon notices how the first initial issue and problem becomes different and takes on a new shape. And this happens through revealing more unconscious information. Now, for example, the smoking issue now becomes more of a social enjoyment to be around friends at that point. The weight loss issue now becomes a habit of having to finish all their food on their plate from a childhood rule. And this is an example. Maybe a stage fright issue now becomes failing a subject at school and not feeling like they know enough in life, as another example, and so forth. Through using questions and the creative mind of the master hypnotist, the therapist begins to hear and notice the real truths of the unconscious mind coming out. And the hypnotist relies on their own unconscious mind to offer creative thinking when asking these questions to drag out these truths. I mean, far too often our hypnotists do not ask the right questions that need to be asked. As we are so busy trying to solve the issue, we ask questions that are solely related to an end result and the end result we decide. And it's this end decision, this end result that we're working towards that creates too many loopholes and the session we want for our client and the session that we think our client needs is not what really needs to be done. To put it bluntly, bring your own unconscious mind with you. Begin asking about a client's problem in the simplest of thinking to draw out the simplest of answers. So that's all for now. That is the creative mind of the unconscious and the master hypnotist. We hope to see you next time. Enjoy for now. Bye-bye.